Wow. I just learned that the way I hooked my generator up could have killed somebody. That taking shortcuts to get power to the things I need could send that power far beyond my home to where other people wouldn't even expect it. I could have killed someone because I didn't take generator safety seriously. That will never happen again. I mean, what if? If you own a standby generator to use when the power goes out, it's critical that you understand how to use it safely, or the consequences could be deadly. Whether permanently installed or portable, generators have the potential to put high voltage electricity back into the utility's power lines, what's known as backfeed if used improperly. Don't take chances. If you have a portable generator, never plug it into the outlet of your home or attach it to your circuit breaker. Use a heavy duty extension cord to connect electric appliances to the outlet on the generator. If you have a stationary generator, make sure a professional has installed a transfer switch to confine the generator power to your home or building. Electricity from your provider travels through power lines in your neighborhood at thousands of volts. Then just before it gets to your house, the electricity travels through a transformer that reduces or steps down the voltage to a level that's usable in your home. The line that comes through your meter and into your home carries 120 or 240 volts. So you can use it to power your appliances, electronics, and other gadgets. When you don't use a transfer switch, you can send electricity produced by your standby generator back the same way it came into your home. There is nothing to prevent electricity produced by your generator from being boosted or stepped up to thousands of volts by the transformer which is demonstrated here. We're going to take 120 volts of electricity and we're going to step it up to 7,200 volts of electricity. Any one of you that owns a generator, if you hook up that generator without a UL listed approved transfer device and you accidentally backbeat 120 volts, the power company transformer, you step it up to 7,200 volts of electricity. You kill off your neighbor trimming a tree. You kill off an emergency responder. You kill off a lineman with generator back feed. When there's a fatality, there's a big investigation. So, and we're going to find just do us a really big favor, folks. If you can afford the generator, you can afford the proper transfer switch. UL listed and approved, so we're all protected. Pulling the meter, shutting breakers off, pulling wires out is not a UL listed and approved transfer switch. And you can really get somebody hurt or killed. It's your responsibility to make sure you don't send potentially lethal electricity back into power lines that utility linemen think are dead. The results of your actions could be tragic. And there are other precautions to take when using generators, especially the portable style. To keep your family safe, make sure you run your generator outside of your garage in a well ventilated area away from doors windows and vents into your home generators produce odorless colorless carbon monoxide gas which can be deadly it's a good idea to purchase a carbon monoxide detector for each sleeping area of your home to detect any elevated carbon monoxide levels no matter what type of generator you have portable or stationary don't take shortcuts. There are only two safe ways to connect it to your equipment. The first way is to have an approved generator transfer switch installed by a professional. That keeps your home circuit separate from the utility. The second way is to plug your appliance, lights, or other device directly into the outlet located on the generator. Remember to refer to the generator's owner's manual if you have any questions about proper operating procedures. For more information on safely running a backup generator, go to safeelectricity.org or rerc.org so you know what to do before the lights go out.